Are you wondering what the top NFT games are and which ones you should look out for? Well, if you have, you've come to the right place. My name is Trev, and on today's episode of Coin Market Cap, we are talking play to earn. So, to all the gamers out there, let's dive right in. And if you're new here and you're interested in more videos just like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, as well as leaving a like on this video. So anyways guys, let's just get right into the video. Ever since the introduction of non-fungible tokens or NFTs, they have shown time and again that they have the potential of changing the gaming world. The emergence of NFTs promises a new and exciting order where players take up an even more critical role in the gaming economy and receive benefiting rewards in the process. Today, this gaming paradigm has begun to take shape as game developers are increasingly adopting blockchain technology to give their games an even more immersive experience. So in this guide, we will give you a rundown of some of the top NFT games available today. However, before diving into our list of the best NFT games, let us first discuss the rudimentary of an NFT based game. So you might be asking yourself, what is a play to earn NFT game? Well, an NFT game combines conventional gaming designs with unconventional game mechanisms to let users have more control over in-game assets like skins, characters, weapons, and virtual lands, and also much more. This is made possible by launching games on blockchains and anchoring them with digital asset-powered economies. And these digital assets are often NFTs so that they are distinguishable and tamper-proof. The adoption of NFT token standards also allows developers to preserve the rarity and uniqueness of some of these in-game items. This is why some blockchain game assets are considered more expensive than others. So with this system in place, the players can claim ownership of game assets through three main strategies. They could create or breed new characters, purchase digital items on native or third-party marketplaces, or unlock and earn new items. Whichever way you choose to access these game assets, you have exclusive ownership rights over them. In essence, you can distribute or sell them and pocket all of the money made from such trades. And this is why this gaming model is called play to earn So what are the top NFT games? Well, like all emerging and establishing sectors, certain platforms have positioned themselves as the main highlight of the NFT gaming world. These games are often at the forefront of of the current NFT craze because they have successfully integrated NFTs with popular game themes. As such, players get to play some of their favorite game genres and at the same time get to engage in a profitable NFT market. So without further ado, here are some of the top games in this category. So the first one is Axie Infinity, and Axie Infinity borrows heavily from the Pokemon game series and adds its own blockchain twist to give the finished product an even more exciting feel. In this Ethereum-based game, players get to breed and collect NFT-based digital pets pets called axes for the core purpose of battling other players. Each individual axes has its own genetic imprint and therefore the weaknesses and strengths of axes are passed down to their offspring. As expected, these digital pets are tradable on Ethereum NFT marketplaces and the price of each depends on their rareness and unique traits. And to start playing the game, you have to purchase three axes. For each quest or player versus player battle and adventure mode you scale, you receive Smooth Love Potion, the platform's native ERC20 utility token as a reward. For every attempt to breed a new Axie, you must pay a specific amount of Smooth Love Potion, which you can also purchase at exchanges. Another ERC20 token native to Axie Infinity is Axie's Infinity Shard, which functions as the platform's governance token. It will also anchor the game staking service scheduled to go live at some point in 2021. And of course, with all of our games that are going to be mentioned on our list, you can find more information about them in the description down below. So the next up is Gods Unchained, and Gods Unchained is a free-to-play game designed designed to infuse elements of NFTs into a familiar card trading gaming genre. Players accumulate cards by purchasing them from other players or winning PvP matchups where the quality of the cards and gaming skill of the players often determines the winner. Notably, more emphasis is being placed on skills and strategy. This is because the game utilizes a ranked game mode, where players with the same ratings are matched. You win matches when your gameplay causes your opponent's life to drop to zero before yours, and for every win, you receive experience points, and as soon as the experience experience bar is filled up, you will move to the next rating level. You win matches when your gameplay causes your opponent's life to drop to zero before yours, and for every win, you receive experience points. As soon as the experience bar is filled up, you will move to the next rating or level and you receive a new pack of cards to add to your collection. And it's worth noting that each card is backed by an ERC721 token, and therefore you can trade them on the platform's native marketplace or the open market. Those opting to sell cards within the game's ecosystem will receive the platform's native token 
gods as payment. So the next up is Splinter Lens, and Splinter Lens is a tradable card game that lets users earn as they play. You earn rewards when you win card matchups, and to start playing Splinter Lens, you first have to buy a starter pack of cards, register a Steam account, and unveil the purchase cards on Splinter Lens. And in some cases, you may be lucky enough to find rare cards among your first set of purchase cards. Also, you could find multiples of the same card, and if this is the case, you can combine identical cards to boost their power, or sell one of them in return for cryptocurrencies. Once you familiarize yourself with the cards, you can proceed to battle other players or participate in quests, and the outcome of these activities would determine if you will earn more cards or not. And next up is the Sandbox 3D. The Sandbox 3D is a voxel-based gaming metaverse and one of the most active NFT gaming platforms, where players can build and trade virtual assets. In this game, players can manipulate and monetize voxel assets. Think of it as a blockchain iteration of the popular gaming titles like Minecraft and Roblox. The platforms offer the tools to create and animate objects and subsequently sell them on marketplaces. Additionally, users can create and play custom games on the platform. Sandbox 3D has introduced Sand, an ERC20 token, as the native token on the metaverse. With this, players can purchase in-game items on the platform's marketplace. And there's also Land, which are NFT tokens, and by far some of the most valuable and sought-after assets in the Sandbox game. A record of $8.5 million in land sales was concluded in just April alone. And the next one is Alien Worlds, and Alien Worlds is an NFT DeFi metaverse that simulates economic competition and collaboration between players in a bid to explore other planets. This is achieved by incentivizing players to compete for Trillium, or TLM, which is required to control competing decentralized autonomous organizations, or planet DAOs, and to gain access to additional gameplay. In the Alien Worlds metaverse, players can acquire NFTs to mine TLM, engage in battles, and complete an in-game quest. Depending on their strategy, players may purchase and assemble NFTs that best suit their gameplay. Additionally, players may engage in governance by electing the counselors of six planet DAOs, and thereby influence the direction of the game. And the next one is Battle Racers. As the name implies, Battle Racers is inspired by popular titles like Super Mario Kart and F-Zero. The whole idea is to combine different weapons and parts in order to create the most powerful cars. And players get to mix different parts and weapons that will give them some sort of advantage on the arcade-sized tracks. And you can register your winning or prize cars on the blockchain as NFTs and subsequently sell them for crypto on OpenSea. Each player looks to create the ultimate car by favoring different skills and stats. You could choose handling over speed or defense over firepower, all in the hopes of emerging victorious. This game is currently playable on Decentraland, which in itself is a blockchain-based virtual world. So next up, let's talk about three up-and-coming NFT-based games. So the first one is Guild of Guardians, and Guild of Guardians is a fantasy-themed role-playing game where the familiar model of building a team of heroes, completing quests and dungeons, and earning resources is played out. As with other games, collecting resources allows in-game items to be crafted, which could be turned for profit. However, Guild of Guardians, as the name suggests, focuses heavily on building communities or guilds in this case. Guardians team up to compete against in-game challenges, and in return they get to earn Gem, the native currency on the game. Furthermore, the game developers want the game to be a play to earn, but not at the expense of other players. There is no PvP gameplay in Guild of Guardians, hence users do not need to spend money to beat other players. The game is currently in development, and the founder NFTs are currently on sale, and a soft launch is scheduled for Q2 of 2022. And with many large backers behind them, this is going to be an interesting one to watch. And next one is Gold Fever. Gold Fever is a jungle-themed role-playing game where players get to choose a character and try to outplay other players for a chance of mining gold in the form of the game's native token, NGL. Players also go about collecting limited NFT-based items like clothes, weapons, or other supplies. Similar to the workings of most NFT games, Gold Fever tries to enable blockchain-initiated scarcity for its in-game assets. You can pick any of the main characters of the game to play and play your part in the formation of its fiercely contested gold economy. And it's also worth noting that in-app game items are tradable on marketplaces, therefore you can earn by earning NGL and exchanging it for fiat or cryptocurrencies on exchanges, or trading collectibles on NFT marketplaces. So the next one is Neon District, and Neon District is a role-playing game or RPG that allows users to collect characters, gears, and crafts. And like all of the games that I talked about in this guide, the in-game items and characters featured on Neon District are NFTs, and as such the in-game items items found on Neon District are essentially digital collectibles, and you have the right to monetize your participation by selling earned or purchased in-game assets to other players. So the goal is to build a team and compete against other players in missions or real-time combats. One multiplayer competitive game
game mode is called Neon Pizza. In particular, it pitches players against each other for the chance of earning the platform's native token, neon, gears, parts, and so on. All you need to do is send your characters on pizza delivery runs and feed hungry citizens. And you can also take up a more villainous strategy by ambushing the pizza delivery team of other players and stealing their earnings. The earnings, which are denominated in neon, can be used to purchase characters, weapons, parts, armors, juice, and other in-game items required to upgrade characters. So from our list today, you will notice that NFT games adopt popular gaming genres, albeit in combination with blockchain elements, which are particularly ideal for establishing rarity and uniqueness. As such, NFT games are not all that difficult to play. They are also enjoyable and highly rewarding, as in this case with Axie Infinities where some of the players are able to earn a decent income. And another popular implementation with NFTs is in sports. NFTs go beyond sports memorabilia to exchange with millions of fans worldwide, giving them a say in their favorite sports teams. So after watching this video, what play to earn game are you interested in? Let us know in the comment section down below. And also, if you have any more questions, just ask Alex in the description below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.